Only five matches to clean this one until we reach the end of our qualification period, but still plenty of time for alliances to move in their ranking point average. 1024 slowly moving over just enough to get level in a configuration required to get those bonus points during the autonomous period. 76-57, that's Thunderbots able to mimic that as well. Both teams are probably pretty tied as we exit the autonomous or pre-programmed period. 38-14, Piebiotics would love to see the competition from outside the state coming in. They're swiftly moving around the field, nimbly grabbing a cone and probably trying to take it into their grid area to score points for their alliance. Two points for the bottom row, three for the center, and five for the top. But remember, the name of the game this year is Lynx. That's three game pieces. Everybody wants Lynx. They're trying to maximize their pointage and the amount of rank points they get. So they'll try to configure their placement in a way to maximize not only points, but those three horizontal game pieces. 1024 making use of their human player station to grab cubes from that area. Now that we've exhausted every game piece that started on the field, the only way to get new ones are through those portals. 17, 76, 17. That's the team from University High School in Carmel, Indiana, quickly maneuvering to deliver a cone into the top. That three-arm link mechanism allowing them to swiftly deliver and return to a moving configuration just over a minute remaining in our batch. 10-24 trying to place a queue potentially in the center part of their grid. They're going to need a few more cones on the Red Alliance side to finish up and wrap up those links Neither team, oh, the Red Alliance has participated in that cooperation threshold. Both teams getting that filled in battery lightning bolt, meaning they did perform well during the autonomous period. That will come in handy if they're looking for those charge station points. 829 Digital Goats attempting to go over their charge station, able to do it successfully with minimal damage. Now a popped cube in the center of the field. I believe you can still score those, but they are harder to manipulate. 76-17, ramming over that deflated cube and moving it into a position where they could potentially use it. Just under 15 seconds remaining in the match. Blue Lions with a lot of small robots can easily fit all three teams up there, but they might run out of time to do so. Currently in the lead with five seconds remaining. We'll have to see how these scores total up. That was the end of qualification match 23 here at Boiler Bot Battle. Here are your scores, qualification match 23. Your winners are the Red Alliance. A score 103, only four points of different in the winners of this match. Plenty of penalties that help decide that change. Red Alliance moving up into higher ranking point average positions. That was qualification match 23.